வணக்கம் தி மஸ்ட் நோ சீரீஸ் சிம்பிளிஃபைங் லேர்னிங் ஜி பிளாஸ் டி அண்ட் இட்ஸ் வேரியேஷன்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட் அஸ் சி த கிளாசிக் ஜி பிளாஸ் டி அண்ட் த பேசிக் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் கவர்னிங் திஸ் ஜி பிளாஸ் டி The definition of the classic Z-plasty is two triangular flaps of skin and subcutaneous tissue of equal size delimited by three incisions of equal length. When the scar or line AB is drawn and two lines are drawn from either end that is at A and at B at an angle of 60 degrees of equal length, we get a classic Z-plasty where the sides are equal. and the angles are of 60 degrees the principle of z plasty is the recruitment of tissue from one axis and redistribution of the tissue along another axis this means that whenever you plan a z plasty you need to make sure that there is enough laxity of the tissues what we saw was the classical z plasty there are many variations to the z plasty variations in size angle design and number of z plasties that can be done We shall now see the variations of the Z-plasty in size, angle and design. The bigger the size of the Z-plasty, the greater will be the lengthening. But it may be difficult to transpose a large flap because of the large base and more tissue laxity would be required. We saw the classic Z-plasty where the angles are of 60 degrees. When we have 60 degree angles, the percentage of lengthening achieved is 75%. That is, there will be an increase of 75% in the original length. So, if the original length had been 1 cm, it would now be 1.75 cm. If we plan the angle at 45 degrees instead of 60 degrees, we would get a lengthening of 50%, which means that if the original length had been 1 cm, it would now become 1.5 cm. And if you have marked an angle of 90 degrees, you would get an increase of 100%, that is, a 1 cm increase. scar would now become 2 cm this would be great if we are releasing contractures but we must remember that the bigger the angle the more difficult it is for the flaps to move so more the angle more the lengthening and more the blood supply but movement is very difficult because of the wide base and there will be 10 times more tension in the suture line there are a few variations possible in the design also one such variation in design is the single limb z plasty which is not very different from the unequal limb z plasty these variations are commonly used to reorient anatomical landmarks the next variation is called the unequal triangle z plasty when there is excess of scarring on one side of the central limb this technique is used if the tissue is scarred a slight curve in the lines made for the z plasty will help in bringing more vascularity to the tip of the flap and this is called the curved limb z plasty the variations of the z plasty in number that is it could be z plasty in series or z plasty in parallel these are also important let us see how these are designed the final variation is the variations in number this means that two or more z plasties are incorporated this could be in series or in parallel multiple z plasties in series can be in interrupted form there could be multiple z plasties in series in continuous form the multiple z plasties can also be skewed but still in series when we plan multiple z plasty that is the classic z plasty of equal sides and 60 degree angle one behind the other it is called a continuous z plasty in series and when we plan multiple z plasties in series but leaving a gap between two z plasties it is called z plasty in series discontinuous or interrupted and when the z plasties are marked not one behind the other but facing each other they are called opposing z plasties which is which is an example of skewed z plasty with multiple z plasty in series we get a good increase in length as you would get with a single z but there will be no decrease in the width so 
when the amount of tissues laxity is less on the sides and a single Z is not possible, multiple Z plasties are ideal. The disadvantages are we may not get the entire length gain and another thing is they do not interdigitate correctly and a sawtooth pattern may be seen especially on the webs. When we have a scar AB, we can do either a single Z of 60 degree angle or multiple Z plasties each following one another. Whatever is done, we will get the same amount of lengthening in both the plans but the difference is the amount of tissue recruited from the sides will be more in the single Z plasty and the amount of tissue recruited from the sides will be less in a Z plasty in series. The second type of multiple Z plasty is the Z plasty in parallel which is represented by the 4 flap Z plasty or the 6 flap Z plasty. The important thing to remember about these multiple Z plasty in parallel is that the amount of tissues recruited from the sides is enormous. So unless a lot of laxity is present in the surrounding tissues, Z plasty in parallel are not done. We shall now see how the 4 flap Z plasty with 60 degree angle works. For ease of understanding, let us assume the colors of the flaps that have been marked are as follows. The two inner flaps are yellow and green and the two outer flaps are marked by pink and blue colors. The two inner flaps, the yellow and green flaps are first transposed like a regular Z plasty. Now one of the outer triangular flap which is the pink flap is transposed with the yellow flap and this is the result of the transposition. The yellow flap has come out and the pink flap has gone inwards. Now the remaining two flaps the green flap and the blue flap interdigitate like a regular Z plasty and this is the final result. The result is that the flaps which were inside go outside and the flaps on the outside go inside. With a 4 flap Z plasty of 60 degree angle, we get a theoretical increase of 225%. This is because each 60 degree angle Z plasty gives a 75% increase and 3 75% increases which consists of 3 Z plasties being conducted leads to a 225% increase in the length. 